Now I'll start with Kanizaro reaction. The major product. One of the aldehyde will be attacked by base. From one of the aldehyde, hydride ion will come out. It will attack another one of the aldehyde. Now depending upon that, this could be acid, this could be alcohol. Similarly, this could be acid, this could be alcohol. Or this could be acid and this could be alcohol. This could be acid, this could be alcohol. And you can do all the permutation and combination that you can do. Now, when they ask the major product, then one of them out of all the PNC will be most likely. And that most likely will be the one which is major product. The first thing to understand here is this molecule will not be planar. Because they will not be lying in the same plane. It doesn't exist like this because of the hindrance of these aldehyde groups. If they lie in the same group, in, in the same plane, then there will be little space for these bulky aldehyde groups to survive in the same space. So they'll, so what this molecule does is it doesn't exist like this. One of them rotates. And when one of them rotates, two aldehyde groups is in the plane of the board. And then two aldehyde groups will be perpendicular. One above the board, plane of the board, one below the plane of the board. So now there is no crunch of space. There's plenty of space because the plane in which they exist is different. One in the plane of the board, another perpendicular to the plane of the board like this. Fine. All right. Now dip considering and keeping this orientation in mind, if this aldehyde suppose is attacked by the OH. Now this molecule is existing like this. So suppose now you understand the configuration, right? One aldehyde is like this, one aldehyde is like this in the plane of the board. The ring that is perpendicular, it will have one aldehyde above the plane of the board and one aldehyde below the plane of the board. Suppose the attack is on this aldehyde. So the one which is above the plane of the board. So the hydride which comes out of this aldehyde will not attack this aldehyde because this is far behind, below the plane of the board. So this will attack one of the aldehyde, both are symmetrical, either the right hand side or the left hand side. It doesn't matter, both are symmetrical, fine. So suppose this is attacked by the base, this releases hydride ion and then that hydride ion goes and attack this aldehyde. So what will happen? Let's look. This aldehyde will turn into carboxylate ion because this has been attacked by the base. And this aldehyde will turn into alcohol because it has been attacked by the hydride that has been released by this aldehyde group. This we learned when we studied Canizaro reaction, we learned to draw this, this, this in this way, the product of Canizaro reaction. So no, none of you must be having any trouble in doing this. If you studied Canizaro reaction properly, this thing is done. Now the next thing. When, when, uh, that for the next time, the aldehyde that has to come, that will, that aldehyde will come on this ring. It won't come on this ring. The second attack won't be on this aldehyde because this group, this C double bond O is pulling electronic density out of the ring. So this ring has less electronic density. In this case, this CH2 group has electro, this CH2 group has electron donating nature into the ring. So this ring is more electron rich. So this aldehyde is going to be attacked by the second time when the reaction occurs. Then this aldehyde is going to be attacked by OH. So this aldehyde is going to be turned, is going to turn into carboxylate ion and this aldehyde is going to turn into the alcoholic group. So this CH2, CHO, is going to be converted into CH2OH and this CHO is going to be converted into carboxylate ion. So this is how it will be. In one ring, you, on one, one side you have alcoholic group, one side carboxylate ion and similarly on the other side you have vice versa. Now option number A is absurd. All of them will not be converted into carboxylic acid. One of them, one, two has to be carboxylic acid, two has to be alcoholic group. Similarly, option number D is absurd. All of them will not be converted into alcohol either. 
fine so a and d is ruled out option number b is what we have got so option number b seems to be correct option number c is wrong because c what they have done is is a bit logical because this acid and this alcohol acid and alcohol undergoes esterification reaction you studied this in class 10th acid and alcohol goes esterification reaction if you remove this h and this oh then you will have what they have got you will get an ester and there will be cyclization but i told you that this ring is not planar when the ring is not planar then this ring exists like this so this acid is in the plane of the board but this oh is below the plane of the board so when they are one is in the plane of the board and one is below the plane of the board then this kind of esterification cannot occur so this kind of cyclic ring formation cannot occur so because they are not in the same plane this cyclization cannot occur because this acid and this oh this acid is in the plane of the board if this acid is in the plane of the board this oh is below the plane of the board so they are not in the same plane to react like this so option number c is not possible it's op and option number b which is the correct option fine so this is what they asked in uh, uh, from canizaro reaction in je 2003 okay so one more thing about canizaro reaction then we will move on Suppose we have a problem like this and uh, there are two compounds that are contender of Canizaro reaction and we have been asked to write the major product. Now number of products will be various. You can do all kind of PNC. First would be you attack a base hydroxide ion will attack this compound. Hydride will come from here. Hydride could attack this. Hydride could attack the same kind of unreacted molecule. Or the base can come and attack this compound hydride will come here come out after coming out hydride may attack this compound or hydride may attack the same kind of unreacted compound so there are four possibilities so there are four possible products but when we are concerned about the major product then you have to think about the most likely possibility so the most likely possibility will go step by step the first step is hydroxide ion comes and attacks one of the carbonyl. So the carbonyl which is most reactive that will be the one on which the attack will occur. Now the carbonyl in which the carbon has greater positive charge polarity that's the one which is more reactive and that's the one that will have higher reactivity for OH- ion. Now if OH- have to attack it will attack the carbon having greater charge polarity. Now let's compare. Which carbon will have greater charge polarity? Now, oxygen is pulling electron from both the carbons. Carbons of the carbonyl group in both the compounds. Now, this carbon has the facility, has the, ha, is, is having resonance effect from this phenyl ring. Phenyl ring is electron releasing. So, because of electron releasing nature, it will mitigate the charge the charge deficiency on the carbon 